Hello and welcome to episode 26 of our Greedy Grin campaign. In the last episode, we finished off another war with the Raj, in which we took a large chunk of land off of them here in the south, which is going to help give us a lot more control over the Gulf of Rahin trade node. Now, I do need to go ahead and add this state into a trade company. That is, without a doubt, the most important thing. Uh, these two states, I should say. And we're going to give them full company depots. And I'm a little tempted to throw in a trade steering here in the Gulf of Rahin Charter. Eventually, we'll want to switch over to a General's Mansion for that minimum local autonomy. But for now, I'd rather pull more trade out in general. So we're going to go ahead and throw that down in there. I don't really care about goods produced or anything like that here. I just want trade power to steal, as you can see, a lot of trade. Because we are pulling a lot, a lot, a lot of money up. Now we do have a problem. Money is leaking. The Golden Highway is a rough node because it can be pulled into Sarian, or it can be pulled from Sarian all the way into Bulwar and eventually Brisson. And I don't want that to be happening. So we are in the process of annexing our vassal, Sarian, to stop that from happening. Because hopefully if we get control of the Sarian node, they won't have enough power back here to pull. And if they do, well, I'll have to find some other way through war probably to beat them up and stop them from it, but they have a lot of troops that are really good, and I'd rather not fight them uh, if I can help it. Now, we are also going through the Serpent's Rot right now. It is taking a toll on our economy, for sure. Uh, we are down to 640 income. We were at, like, 800-something at one point. So, it definitely hurts a lot. Uh, and just being in the disaster in general, I believe it's a nation, like a national modifier here. Uh, where are you? Serpent's Rot gives us 7.5% uh, all power cost, plus 75% dev cost, plus two natural unrest, monthly war exhaustion, lots of ethics. Lots and lots of ethics. So we need to solve that. We're going through an event chain to do so. Uh, and in the meantime, we prepare for our next war, and I think we go after Bim Lao. Getting more control over this trade node would allow us to pull all this money out and away. And remember, we need 100,000 gold to end this mission tree. And that's going to be a while. Now, we are in the process of building up two ramparts here, and that will complete create the Vault Guard. And then we have the money and admin power to complete the next mission. And then if we employ the Vault Guard, then I need a regimental camp in both of these provinces. So Daz Outlet, we're going to have to develop up to 15, probably. And then, I don't know, expand infrastructure. But as you can see, we're quite devastated. The Serpent's Rot, when it gets bad enough, gives us plus three. Plus three devastation a month. There's no amount of fort control that's going to stop that. So the sooner we can get through it, the better. Uh, we'll start building a spy network up on Bim Lao. And other than that, I think we just need to chill and try and get through the Serpent's Rot as fast as possible. It is, in my opinion, probably the most brutal uh, Serpent's Spine disaster. Because there's really not much you can do about it if it gets to you, other than just pay a lot of money to get through it. And you're not going to get through it fast enough to where you're going to not suffer like we have. Just the way it is. Just the way it is. Orcas refugees, sure, you are welcome. And there is the mission complete. Create the Vault Guard. 15,000 manpower, 1,000 crowns, and 100 military power. But Daz Outlet gets minus 30% local dev cost, 500 manpower increase, and 15% local defensiveness, as does the Vault Guard. And we unlock the Vault Guard mercenary company which I can hire. And we have 2,000 monies. That's not 2,000. That, that is not 2,000. That's 20,000. 20,000 monies and 100 admin power. A uh, small coin vault will be removed from old coin vault and we'll get local dev cost, yearly tax, and yearly inflation. And I forgot to read this, so <laughs> let's go do that real quick. Uh, the coin vault was hardly finished when errant goblins first attempted to pilfer some coins. So far, each attempt has been successfully thwarted. We built plenty of watch posts into the Dwarven Foundations, but it is clear that we should invest in creating a vault guard to protect the coin vault from any inventive thief. And of course, we need extremely strict requirements for these vault guards so that they don't take anything home themselves. Uh, the vault is built, it is secured, now it's time to fill it to the brim, and 20,000 crowns should be a good start, if an insufficient one. All right, now you get minus 60% local dev cost there, 72 yearly tax income, and 0.1 yearly inflation reduction. Uh, let's go ahead and just get Daz Outlet developed up twice. It's going to suck. It's going to be expensive. It's fine, though. It's fine. We will expand the infrastructure here when we get some 
admin points and that will solve our issues. Uh, in the meantime, let's make sure that we're not taking a lot of attrition with our troops here as they walk back. Make sure we're doing it at least somewhat intelligently. These 53,000 can walk to here and you can go onto Stramaya. That's our big doom stack that can fight the large amount of rebels that will arrive here. Did I just see Buvari and the Raj at war? I did. Okay. I don't mind that. I'm, I'm quite a fan of that, to be honest with you. My two largest rivals in this region fighting each other? Sounds great. Sounds like only benefits for us. Uh, let's make sure you're somewhere you're not going to take attrition. Yep, we have lots of rebels. Lots of rebels. We are overextended. Oh, no, we're not. Just kidding. I'm going to buy down our war exhaustion because it's not going to go down naturally because of the Serpent's Rot. Which is unfortunate. And we just have to wait for the events to fire. There's really nothing else we could do about it. Foreign plots. I really don't want to lose 10 Republican tradition here, so we're going to have to take a stab hit. Is what it is. Is what it is. Uh, Cult of the Cat. Nice. We got a bunch of money. I do enjoy that. Uh, Artificer Breakdown. We have 15 capacity available. I don't think there was anything we wanted to do there. And once we have Sermaya Cord, we can loot that temple. Which we will, because that's another 5 Artificer capacity. Which would be pretty sweet to have. Right, grab that. Now, if I wanted to declare this, Daigong will not join because they're in debt. But I could pay off their debt. That's not a problem. That debt means nothing to me. 3,000 ducats is a drop in the bucket. Uh, they don't actually love me all that much. So maybe we should focus less on spying on the command and more on befriending our allies. That would be a, a good idea. Go ahead and take on your debt. That'll make them like me a bunch too. So now I could call them into my war against Bim Lao, but we'll, we'll hold off for now. We'll be patient. I do have 40,000 rebels up here, so let's rotate. I don't need this farmlands fort. Let's delete it. Beautiful Cavern Prophets. Awesome. Uh, yeah, you can take care of these, and then you could go grab these two rebels as well. You just deal with the rebels in the north. That works for me. You guys can continue to deal with anybody down here. All right. <clears throat> no problem. These rebels aren't a big deal. We would only really deal with dangerous rebels if I went really overextended. Like, super overextended. Uh, but we're not currently at threat of that happening, so I'm not too concerned. Oh, I can't expand development anymore, here anymore. It lost development because of the Serpent's Rot. Well, I technically don't need to have my other building here. The training field. So I can just delete this and then build the conscription center. Right? Yeah. I'll be fine. And I'm pretty sure you already have one, right? Yes. No. Yeah. This training field. We're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Election. Uh, yeah, we can re-elect. He's 68, so this is going to be the last time we re-elect, I think. Cutting edge advancements. Brilliant advancements, minus 10% tech cost and idea cost. Huge. Let's go ahead and do Technothaumaturgy. Let me give maps to our allies. It's not like we're competing with them. Noah's genius. Because we're a fierce negotiator... We can actually just gain 25 admin points and lose 664 crowns. Sure. Not that money's like a problem, but sure. All right, build more governing capacity buildings just because we can. Build more universities just because we can. And anywhere we develop will be cheaper because of it. Now, how much trade over this node do I have right now? 40%. Look how much money is being stolen from us. And that is the word I will use, is stolen. There's no reason for all this trade to be filtering out. I think we may need to upgrade some World Trade Center stuff in the Sarian node after we integrate Sarian. Just to stop the Phoenix Empire. Did they take trade ideas? Yeah, they did. That's why they're able to pull so much. All right, fair enough. Well played. Well played, but I'm not happy about it. Ooh. 
Hobgoblins are also attacking the Raj. Rip. Rippy dippy for them. Sucks to be them, I guess. All right, and when's our truce up with the command? 97. Okay, we have seven more years till that truce is over. So be it. We could probably speed five here. Uh, Tiger Bane. I need to get a claim on you just so I can fix up the borders. That's literally it. I just want the borders to look better. And Bim Lao, I guess I can get some more claims on you. Doesn't really do much. And also claim these in case Bim Lao takes them. Make our lives a little bit easier here with claims and such. And then we need to improve with Dagon because they are not thrilled with me. Not thrilled. They're also not the best ally in the world. Like, they have 117,000 troops, but they're not that great. Uh, Busalar, on the other hand, is a great ally who I need to improve with. Stop building spider work on the Raj. We're, we're being less sneaky, okay? Less sneaky, more friendly. Improve relations. Make sure my allies will not betray me and the inevitability that I get declared upon by... someone. Someone. I don't know if it's going to be Grombar. I don't know if it's going to be the Phoenix Empire. It's more than likely the Phoenix Empire that declares war on me. They're a conqueror, but they are a diplomat. Not sure how they work that one out when they go to bed at night. I guess they expand through diplomacy. I don't know. Whatever excuse they have to tell themselves, I suppose. Expansion is expansion. Right, now that's Rebels down there. Uh, we can chase after him. That is fine. That is fine. Any chance for more research into the disease? No. Nope. We're still just waiting. Uh, I think it's a mean time to happen, so... I know I said that last time is the last time we're going to reelect. This time is the last time we're going to reelect. Hey, nice. Fury of the Cat Goblins. 10% production efficiency. That'd be great if it wasn't for the fact that my country's on fire because of the disease. Uh, I do want to grab the advanced CB, so we're going to wait here on taking the next trade idea. Conclave of Magi. I could kill the mages right now if I do this. We increase all power costs for a while, though, to expel them. It would give me 9% crown land. No, sorry, they don't lose influence. Sure, you can gain influence on That's fine. It's not the end of the world. All right. Claim the centaurs. Perfect. And let's get 28,000 troops over there. And pull back on that spy network. They're just two provinces, so... I just need to grab them. That way they can go away. I still don't know what to do with these guys. Well, this is all their land now, so I guess we just take it. We went to the Gelcalis problem, who is allied to the Phoenix Empire. Uh, yeah, but I could call him Buslar to that war. They could possibly help out. Do I take this Inno for admin? I think we do. Yeah, we absolutely do. County houses. County houses are amazing. Thank you. And of course, we will just build these everywhere. Uh, we have to save up to 40,000. Ducats, I think it said, for the next mission here. Which is the reason why I haven't... Uh... Actually, no, that's for this mission. I need to hire it. Okay, never mind. I was incorrect. I misunderstood. Let's hire the Vault Guard. Where are they? There they are. And you know what the Vault, guard, vault Guards will do? They will guard the Vault. They will sit there, and they will do nothing. And that way I don't lose them. Because their tiny stack will not make a difference in the grand scheme of things. Okay, we can probably grab their capital <laughs> instantly. Look at those siege ticks. <laughs> Three day siege ticks go burr. 19 days and it's gone. And this should be a very easy fight. And no more centaurs. Okay. Move on through then. Grab these two provinces. Ta da! Name is bigger on map, therefore we are better. Uh, overextension. Can't core it because uh, Kieran Uleg has cores there. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. 
but I can expand the vault guard. More coins in the vault means more thieves after those coins, and the recent increase has gone beyond our treasurer's expectations. We must expand the vault guard in turn, though with their numbers getting high, perhaps a few can be tasked to protect other important areas as well. Lose 30,000 manpower, 10 army tradition, 1,500 crowns, but those two provinces gain really good bonuses. If anyone sieges those down at any point, things have gone very wrong, but technically speaking, yes, they are more protected from the hypothetical thieves that will never interact with them. But for the lore, for the lore, okay, that's a bit problematic. Uh, yeah, I don't really want you to fight them, it's the thing. So we'll bring back our larger stacks, like real combat stacks, and they will help out. I mean, I was going to say it's weird how we have this much unrest, but it's really not because we have the Serpent's Rot. Really not because we have the Serpent's Rot. Uh, let's go ahead and take that Diplotech. We could take Miltech early to get access to level 8 forts. I'm not totally against that idea. We also have access to Nationalism and Imperialism now. Which means we should be able to annex the Jade Goblins uh, for basically nothing with nationalism ideas. I'm still a little tempted to try and cut Grombar off of going onto the island just because I think it would be funny. But we really don't need to. We really don't need to. Like, it's just such a waste of time and resources, honestly. Other than the fact that I could possibly get another another uh, merchant. That would not be a waste. Extra merchants are never a waste. Zaka Rebels. Again? How many times do I have to teach these Zaka Rebels a lesson? Hey, look at that. 0.5 yearly Republican tradition and one stability. Huge. Uh, how is the Serpent's Rot doing? Oh! It got cured. I must have missed the event. But it's not over here anymore. They cured it. Cool. So that's why... Okay, so it's... The cure spreads through uh, vents in the Serpent Spine. So all along the Serpent Spine here, the, the whole way, the whole way, there are a series of... Ooh, that's not great. Uh, a series of air ducts that bring fresh air in from the outside into the mountains. That way it's, you know, livable and you can breathe in there. Good air. Uh, and that's how they spread the cure out because it's airborne. All right, well, that's nice. That means that this devastation will start to go away. Slowly but surely, but oh wait, it will. Election, and our dude died. Okay, let's go for the Diplo candidate. And we've unlocked Ivory Wands. Wands have long been sourced from exotic and obscure wood. Adventurers delving into the Hanlan's deepest and darkest woodlands to find the most suitable branches. But it seems this business is quickly shrinking. Experts at the cutting edge of Kanor's magical practice have discovered that ivory edges out even the most sought-after woods and its ability to conduct magical energy. Now the Grey Folk, <clears throat> sorry, the Grey Folk of the North hunt the wild and unchecked mammoths of the Reach. New routes to Sarhal and Rahan bring ivory from the region's elephants, and strange alien teary beasts from Taekend in the far north forfeit their tusks. Even with the supplies of this previous luxurious material booming, the demand has met it and weighed down the pockets of any merchant lucky enough to get their hands on a shipment of ivory. Price increased by 25%, and we gained 4,625 crowns. And there are more rebels. As there tends to be. Alright, get back over here. So we're going to be more useful. You can go here. All of you want access, sure. We need to choose a cult. Uh, we need to choose ancestor worship. I need to get my Republican tradition back. Is a bit too low for my liking. To be honest with you. You... Do you have any friends? You are guaranteed by the command. Right, I was going to reset my truce with you. But decided it wasn't worth it. Because it would cut too close to when my truce was going to expand with the... Or expire with the command anyways. Again, the of tradition. Yes, please. Deification of Zeus the Master. Nice. Now, are, do we still have the province modifier for the Serpent's Rot, or did that also go away? Seems that has also gone away. Then why do we have so much unrest? 
3.82 from War Exhaustion. Okay. Plus 2 from Disloyal Printers. Plus 2 from Discontent. And 1.75 from a Religious Unity. Oh yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I'll give you that. And there's no way that I can gain Tolerance here. Ooh. Um... I guess we start converting things very slowly. Tolerance ideas, anybody? Anybody really into the whole tolerance idea thing? Because I'm, I'm liking that idea at the moment. They are pretty good. Especially in situations like this. All right. Build all of our forts. Get them all upgraded to their highest level. There we go. Eight, 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 eight. Eight, eight. I don't know if I really need that one down there, but I can afford it. I don't care. It's there, so it's staying. You, 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 and you. Oh, almost forgot about some of these down here in the south. Uh, as for Sarian, I suppose I'll upgrade all of their forts as well. Just because I'm a kind overlord. That'll do. Uh, I guess counting houses then. Or where I go next. So we'll increase our money significantly. Let's see, what are we at? We're at 750 income. That should keep going up as we get rid of devastation from the Serpent's Rot. We'll see, though. We have 25% control of this trade node. I would like more. I am greedy. I would like more trade power. I honestly don't even care about the provinces themselves. I just want to pull the trade out of here that's here. Look, they gave us almost another 10 ducats by adding that state in. Like, it makes these states not as good to add everything in, but I think it's probably worth it. It's probably worth it. We have more particulars? Man, people are not thrilled with us at the moment. Not big Poe Mew fans, these, uh, these particulars. Not a fan of how we're doing things around here. All I'm saying is, we are greeting and we are succeeding, and therefore, my plans must be good. That is the only explanation. The only one. Dai Gunk, can you stop calling me into wars, man? Like, we're not that kind of friend. Alright, I call you into a war or two, you call me into a war or two, I accept. And that's fine. Also, Grombar is just getting absolutely thrash. Oof. Bjarnwork has arrived. <laughs> Grombar got obliterated in that one. That must have been embarrassing. Yeah, that one must have hurt. Must have hurt. Hey, can you just... Here, the Vault Guard, get out there. Do something. Do something about it. All right, it is 96, which means it is just about time to fight the command again. If I don't stop having to fight all of these rebels, my goodness... That is insane. I mean, I guess my Republican tradition is kind of low. Uh, no, we can't afford to reelect. Can't afford to reelect, and I don't want to lose another stab. Sorry. We can core those up, though. Uh, once again, Ancestor Worship. Lock it in. That is what we need. Are you going to walk forward? So we're going after Jade March. We want all of their land, and then whatever I can get out of the command on top of that will be what we take. There's our truce. And let's do the war. Just immediately. Ooh, and they're attacking Beyond Fang. Perfect. They're distracted. All right. Let's do nationalism. For It literally doesn't matter. Con Dai Gung. You call me into your wars, I'm calling you into mine. Simple as that. All right, where's our best general? All of our generals are kind of bad right now. You are going to just strike out immediately to find the command's armies. They have 147. We should slap them around. We do need to find them first. This is another siege stack that should not just be sitting in the back lines. It should be up here sieging. 
You two need to move together, and you will contest anything down here that uh, pops up. Let those poor souls in, Raj Separatists. I can deal with those. Beautiful. I just need you to get through these sieges real quick. All right, Command's Capital Falls in just a few days. Zoomy, zoomy, zoomy through. We are taking all the stuff inside the Serpent Spine. Okay. Non-negotiable. All the stuff inside the Serpent Spine. Next up, I want... What do I want? I want temples. I can't get over to this temple, but I can get to Sarilavan. Bad borders, perhaps. But he gives me temples. Actually, what's probably a better idea? Skip out on that for now. Grab these provinces. That way I can full annex uh, Rajat Haga here when we declare war on them afterwards. They've re-allied Bim Lao and the... Oh, uh. Oh, fine, maybe we won't do that. We might still do that peace deal, though. We'll see. Tuad Pass is taken. Well, let's grab one troop to get the war goal. Go deal with the Gavos. We know that we're going to smash the Gavos, so... Not something to be worried about. Oh, what is this? You declared war on the command? Not again. Not again. Oh, Bim Lao, why do you always have to complicate things? Like, can you not just wait until after I'm done with my war and then do your war? Does it always have to be after I declare mine? It just kind of feels like you're trying to be me, and it's sad. It's sad. You should be your own person. You shouldn't try and be me, all right? That's going to make my life so much more difficult. We're going to be stuck in this war now for a while. Just like last time. Because a man can't just fight the command. I was going to say on his own, but I did call my ally. A man just can't fight the command, you know? Without someone trying to intervene and take advantage of the situation. Smart. Smart for them. But I'm mad about it. I don't like it. Okay, this siege is taken, so let's take whatever land we can. Quickly, quickly, quickly. All right, looking safe. I like it. Tilt Gahar has been taken. Uh, looks like they're already on these sieges, so let's just grab whatever territory I can. This is gonna screw up the whole peace deal, though. As long as I can get the stuff inside the mountains, I'm happy, okay? As long as I can get the stuff inside the mountains, get what I need for the mission tree, then we're good. I would like more, sure. But if I don't get it, uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. All right, you just need to get this siege down so I can go fight his troops. There we go. That's taken. You need to rotate down here. And eventually, we'll all be under our control. Are they still sieging these down? Yes, they are. All right, well, that means that I have time to move forward and grab these provinces. Ooh, 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 ooh. They don't own that. I'll grab it. Embarrassing Brillite Invention. That's fine. I'm pretty sure you have cores on all this. Yeah. Yeah, something tells me they're not going to uh, be leaving it around. Though they could, because they're technically not in charge of the war. Uh, it's Bim Lao who's in charge of the war, so they their ally may screw them over, or, or may help them. I guess we'll have to find out. I know what they would do if I was in the war. I wouldn't get anything. Even if I fought every battle, sieged every province, be like, well, you know, Poe, best we can do, you had like 5% war participation. Thank you for trying. We'll take everything now. It's like, what? I won your war for you. What do you mean? Okay, we're going to disable divert trade for now. Just so no one supports their independence. Antique machine. My Inno's at 70. I'll study it. 
All right, now we're just stuck at the point where I'm going to have a bunch of stuff I can't really do much with. All this land, and yet... And yet, the question is, do they reinforce this? They do. Do we stay in this? I don't think so. Uh, once I see Ken's in the front line, we gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go. Sad. Run away. Run away! Now, if only we had a better general. That would have helped. Wouldn't have won it for us, but wouldn't have taken so many losses, either. Alright, keep converting, because apparently that's what we have to do. Feels weird to convert as goblins. Usually I don't bother. It's not worth it, but in this case, I have to. Because that religious unity is painful. Now, to be fair, I could just peace out for everything inside the serpent spine right now. Take some cash. And walk away. Works for me. The Jade of Grossanad. Before the Green Tide, before Castanor, before Aldorov, there were the Jade Dwarves. The mightiest among them bore a great jewel of jade, intricately crafted and immaculately polished, the fruit of centuries of labor. When the assembly convened for the first time, this gem was handed over to be added to the Dwarvacron, signifying that the High King's writ extended all the way to Rahan and Yanchen. When Aldorov fell, Grossanad remained and forged an empire of its own. All things must end, however, and an array of malcontents brought the Jade Dwarves low. Eventually, the Jade of Grunsonad, along with Grunsonad itself, fell into the hands of the Command. It did not remain in their hands for long, though. For now, it is ours, and we will not relinquish our grip on it as easily as they did. Now and forevermore. 10 prestige and 2.5% global trade power. And we can complete Domination. Having conquered large parts of the Eastern Serpent Spine and defeated the Hobgoblin Command in several battles, we should now unite the Eastern Serpent Spine under our rule and exile the Command completely from our mountains. Greedy Grin Domination Having brought our home region completely under our control and also secured the entire Eastern Serpent Spine for our nation, we are truly dominant within the Dwarvar, and no nation will be able to stand against us and our wealth. We are dominating. Plus one yearly prestige, plus one monthly splendor, plus 10% governing capacity, and a region united will be removed. All right, so now we have two more missions, and then we're we're done. We're free. We're done with the greediest of grins. We need forty thousand. Sorry, one hundred and forty thousand monies. Uh huh. Uh huh. You heard me right. One hundred and forty thousand monies. I would also like to get to economic hegemon. I feel like that's a, a good goal to also reach. So we're not going to be completely idle here waiting but uh we're gonna have to wait to see how exactly we save up that money maybe we go to worth katarada a bunch just punch them for money i like that idea we'll see but that's all the time i have for today i'd like to thank you all for watching and i hope to see you in the next one